Hello, my name is Ho Zunian. A lot of my work also involved some kind of engagement with um, historical uh, contents. Um, and at the same time, I think they are all one in one sense or another driven by the same questions. The way that history has been uh, presented to us and how these constructed histories regulate, define and control our way of thinking and our mode of life. One of Sir Rare Tigers is probably the fourth or fifth work related to tigers that I've done and it's also the last. It's because these are infinite. The tiger is a very demanding master to serve. So some of these other previous tiger works that I've done, uh, the first was called The Song of the Broken Hearted Tiger, which was essentially a heavy metal concert uh, with a traditional uh, Malay dancer. The second performance, theatre performance I did was called 10,000 Tigers. And 10,000 Tigers, in a way, was very much a kind of a ritual in which we tried to summon uh, spirits, the spirits of Chinese uh, communists, uh, Japanese soldiers, um, Malay wear tigers. As for the specific story of uh, one of several tigers, we have, on one hand, the surveyor, George Drongo Coleman, uh, of Coleman Street, famously in Singapore, who's uh, the first sort of uh, official surveyor of the British uh, colonial administration. Uh, he was also the chief architect in Singapore. And then we have uh, the Malayan tiger, which is a creature of myth, uh, figure which is very important for uh, sort of the pre-Islamic animistic uh, beliefs in this region. And then we have the third group, which is uh, the Indian uh, convict labourers. So these were basically uh, people that were sentenced um, to transportation, which meant that these were prisoners from India that were sent to different colonial states where they served as a source of uh, low-cost forced labour. Much of the roads that we have in Singapore are built by these uh, labourers, these prisoners labourers. And the very interesting thing is that George Drumgold Coleman, who was the superintendent of public works. He was also the superintendent of prisons. So these two roles in the British administration has always been very closely tied together. Whoever was in charge of public works and uh, designing buildings was also in charge of the prison because it was the prisoners that built everything that he designed. So the work it consists primarily of the tiger and Coleman singing this duet and they are facing each other, looking at each other. They cast shadows on each other. The human spectator just happens to be in the middle of the space. We can think of them as simply witnesses that have wandered into this ritualesque, ritualistic uh, exchange between the tiger and Coleman. But on the other hand, sometimes I think it could also mean that depending on the direction that the audience is facing, the audience at that moment becomes either the tiger or Coleman. During the work itself, what we are looking at is these layers of different proto-cinematic as well as post-cinematic technologies uh, layered together. We are seeing digital animation, live action, as well as uh, shadow uh, puppetry. So actually maybe this image of these different layers of uh, image technologies uh, from both the East and the West is a good kind of symbol or emblem for, for what I imagine my practice to be.